In the same month as the Secretary General's visit to the Central African Republic, the UN received a report of a new rape case in Bambari. A young woman was found half naked and barely conscious, right here at the foot of these stairs. She says she was walking home after a funeral, and the last thing she clearly remembers is being offered a cup of tea by UN peacekeepers at this checkpoint here, just behind me. J'ai reçu dans la nuit à 1h20 minutes en train de vomir. Elle m'a dit qu'elle a bu du thé drogué. La remède est en poudre chez les Mauritaniens, basé à la source. Elle était par les militaires. Je ne connais pas le nom. Et à côté de l'escalier, le parterre, on a vu l'emballage des préservatifs. The alleged rapists were Mauritanian peacekeepers. The young woman who says she was raped is called Morissette. We found her living with her family on the outskirts of town. After the rape was reported by the hospital, Morissette was interviewed by a local representative from the UN. Her family then wanted to know what had happened to the Mauritanian soldiers. Parce que les Nations Unies avaient dit qu'ils utilisent un certain nombre de politiques tolérance zéro de l'autre là vis-à-vis de l'agression sexuelle. Mais on ne sait pas, est-ce que la personne qui avait commis l'acte ou bien les, les contingents, les, les personnes, est-ce qu'ils se sont punis ou bien ils ne sont pas punis, c'est ça. C'est ça. The Mauritanian mission at the UN didn't respond to our repeated requests for comment. We also wanted to know if Morissette had heard anything from the UN following her initial interview. How long has it been? In Bambari, we spoke to a 17-year-old girl. She told us that she hasn't heard anything from the UN or its partners for two months. She doesn't know what's happening from her case. This isn't acceptable. I hope, you know, uh, through you, we, we, we may be able to reach out to that person and, and, and make sure that she gets, you know, uh, what is due to, to, to her and that our services will reach out. But it is absolutely unacceptable. We came to New York to try to interview the Secretary General about what we'd found during our investigation. He declined. Instead, we were offered an interview with the woman he'd appointed as his special coordinator on sexual exploitation and abuse. You know, the job of a peacekeeper is to, is to protect first and foremost. What happened... Jane Holute has been working on this issue for years and held a senior position in the UN at the time of the 2005 Zaid report. Uh, our watchword is zero tolerance. What does it mean? It means zero complacency and zero impunity. In Bambari, a town in the Central African Republic, a young woman said that she'd been gang raped by Mauritanian uh, peacekeepers. This is logged on your own system. When we spoke to her, she said that she hadn't had any contact from the UN in two months. She was never told about her case. Part of the reason that the Secretary General appointed a victim's right av rights advocate at such a senior level is to correct those kinds of shortcomings. But do you think it's acceptable that a woman who was so recently raped um, has initial contact with the UN and then doesn't hear for no, two of course, months? No, of course I don't think it's acceptable. And of course I think w what needs to be done is that she gets the support she needs. Uh, in any and all cases. You yourself have said that the problem of sexual exploitation and abuse is either an ongoing or potential problem in every single one of our missions. 
Why should we believe that this is something that can be fought when for decades it's an ongoing problem and peacekeepers are still raping? It is an ongoing problem everywhere. And do we have to face the reality that there's nothing we can do about it? No, we have to ask ourselves, are we doing everything we can? You know, we're, there's no wand waving here. You know, there's no magic swish and flick and it goes away.